I love the patterns I did here. Cutest house ever. You wrote the book, right? Yeah. Hello, hello, and welcome back to a brand new studio vlog. This is going to be a super chill art making video. I titled this one Getting Out of My Comfort Zone because this week I challenged myself to work more traditionally. If you know anything about me, um, I am primarily a digital artist. In a lot of my art making videos, I talk so much about how, you know, I like traditional art, but it's something I struggle with. I'm so much more comfortable on my iPad. So this week I just decided like, you know what? I, I know that I'm not as comfortable with traditional medium, but I really enjoy painting. So I'm just gonna go for it. And I think a reason I just tend to work on my iPad more not only because I'm, I guess I'm more comfortable on it, I just, it's just more predictable and I know I can make something that will look kind of good and just feels very safe because there's the undo button, I have all these color choices. And I think with traditional art, there's more room for me to quote unquote fail. I know like obviously there's no real failure, um, but I think there's more, I guess, of a chance of me making something that I'm unhappy with. And I think that's why I tend to avoid painting so much, even though I quite enjoy it. And I've been having a lot of positive um, painting experiences lately, specifically with acrylic paint. I've been really enjoying um, working with acrylic. I think it's so fun to just like build up layers and layers. And I think I've sort of honed in on a specific way of painting that I quite like. Um, I think when I do digital work, I my process is super, um, based on like editing stuff like I do something and I'm like oh I don't like it and I fix it and I've just been finding ways of doing that traditionally that work for me like you'll see with this blue color I found I found it too saturated so I put some gray on top of that and then um, with this pink I decided I didn't like that purple shade so I just went over that and it's been really fun to carve out different shapes from um, just like blobs of paint I put on. I don't know if that makes sense. Like right here, I'm using white to carve out the grass a bit more. Um, and I just find the process super therapeutic. And I found this week super, super fun. Um, after, I won't lie to you, like after making some pieces, I was like, eh, yeah, this is okay. But I think what's important is that I really enjoyed the process. I think the physical act of painting just feels really good to me. And in my last art making video, I talked a lot about how I was feeling like there was an element of play missing from my art practice. And yeah, I feel like this week was really instrumental in helping me um, pump a bit more fun back into art making. And yeah, I'll talk more about like some other hashtag thoughts I had uh, during this week, during some other voiceovers, but just want to welcome you, welcome you into the video. Say hello. Thank you so much for being here. And I hope you guys enjoy all the painting and all of like the chill vibes. And yeah, we'll, we'll I'll chat, check back in soon. Today is Thursday, November 9th. I was gonna film a day in the life, but I have some old footage of previous days and also I just don't feel like it. So I think I'm gonna make this like a regular studio vlog and just like working, making art, you, you know the vibes. <laughs> but today I want to finish up my Patreon benefits for December. It's a bit early for doing that. Today is, it's only like the second week of November pretty much and typically I will work on the Patreon benefits in the third or fourth week even. Um, sometimes I cut it kind of close. I will be packing calendars very soon. Get as much done as possible before I go back home to pack. I have some exciting packages I got from Blick that I might unbox soon too. Um, I just bought a bunch of like traditional art supplies. I've just been like Lately, I've, I've realized I have this tendency that I won't want to like buy and invest in things that will make my life easier just cause I'm like, I don't need that. I don't want to spend the money on it. But then after I make a certain purchase, like I'm like, wow, this is really nice. And it does make my life easier just by like investing the money in something. Also real quick, just want to share a fun package I got. I placed an order from Donning Crow. Um, I had one of their calendars last year 
Um, the artist's name is Kathy Lamb, and I just like love, love, love the cat illustrations. They always come like very well made. Like I just do like paper and binding, but I feel like her calendars are always like, they always come with like a stand. And I like it that if you keep on flipping, it's like still this side of the calendar. But if you keep on flipping this side, it's one of the illustrations. I don't know, it's like the small, the small little things that I think are really, really cool. This one's a strong favorite. I think it's so funny. But also this one I think is so cute. I think this is good, but I think it could be a little bit more angled that way. Ah, I think that's perfect. I do apologize for the lack of natural lighting. Again, north facing window, gloomy day. It is what it is, but I'm really loving this easel. I haven't used it yet, obviously, but I do think um, it'll be really nice to use. I just hate craning my neck and this feels so sturdy. And if I ever decide to work larger, I like that this can accommodate it. I decided to get more Holbein acrylic gouache. Um, I've been very much in my acrylic painting moment, but I realize it's also just because I don't have as many um, gouache colors. So I got three new ones. It also came in this cute, cutie little box. I got this little brown color, a uh, burnt umber, just for like mixing purposes. Yeah, and then I got this um, blue color and this pale yellow color. Super value canvas. I wanna work larger. Um, and I just feel like it might be fun to work on a larger painting. And then I got, this last thing I got, I got a super value pack of 12 of their eight by eight. And I just think this is also gonna be a fun format to paint on. I typically don't paint on square canvases. Everything I paint on is a rectangle. So that's my little art supplies haul. I wanna eventually hang this up here, I've decided. Um, but for now, it'll go on the floor. <laughs> Before we go any further, I want to give a big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and so many of my other videos. You guys know already Squarespace can help you build a wonderful website. It is my portfolio website of choice and I also host my secret Patreon shop up there. I recently wanted to add some new pieces to my portfolio and Squarespace made it so easy. If you want to share your artwork online, I think Squarespace is a great option for that. If a lot of you finished um, a fun October drawing challenge, you want to put all of your work nicely on one page for people to see, I think Squarespace would be a great place for that as well. It is so so nice all the templates are gorgeous the website is super easy to use and yeah highly recommend go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash megan wang for 10 percent off your first purchase Can I place an order for pickup? Um, so I'll have a spicy tuna roll. Hello! Where's the toaster? Jenny! Hi, Hi baby! Hello! Oh, wow. She's so cute. Miss baby. She, she wants you to put her over there. How is it? Mm -hmm. 
There's like other filing. All except the games lying down, you know? Like yeah. there was a lot of dissent yeah. about it. So I feel like I, I don't know how much of it is about that element or that theme, but. Oh, so she wrote the book, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, wrote so, the yeah. prequel and okay. they're making it to the film now. Mm -hmm. I they go around my age now when he was my teacher. Because the, 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 the. Yeah, but. Um, uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm back from lunch and I really, I've been working on this all day and I keep on looking at it and I just really don't like it. I don't know what it is about this. Um, I just, maybe it's because I've done this concept so many times already. Like this sticker is so similar to this. And then I also have this sticker rover here that like looks it's like the same idea. Um, so maybe it's because I'm bored of this concept. Okay, I think I'm finally done with my sticker. I still want to keep like the puffer winter clothing vibe but with a different animal cute you're acting like you weren't just scratching on my chair but i saw you i saw you huh oh joe baby oh wow see i see you scratching it right now Alrighty, good morning. It's a very gloomy day again, so I'm gonna be working in the dim lighting again today. But today is Friday and we're gonna paint. So I might do like a landscape of some kind just because I feel like that is something I tend to shy away from and I wanna get better at. And I feel like the more I think about it, um, the more I like talk myself out of doing this sort of thing. So I'm just gonna set up and start painting as quickly as I can. Also. I really like this. You guys saw I made this a few days ago. I really am proud of this, so I want to keep this energy going. Another thing I just thought of is like, because I have a standing desk, I can definitely like raise this up and like stand and paint a little too. So during this week, I thought a lot more about just like how social media affects my art practice overall. I talk about this all the time and sometimes I feel like a broken record, but I don't know. I, I think this week in particular, it just stuck out to me a lot more. Um, I talk about this a lot. The fact that like, because my living is based off of other people purchasing and in liking my artwork, um, that makes me feel more limited in my experimentation sometimes and growing as an artist because I'm worried like if I experiment too much, people won't like something and then, you know, my income that month will be lower or my income in the future will be lower because I'm not making work that people enjoy. But I think, I don't think that's always necessarily true. Like sometimes when I make new stuff, people like it, sometimes I don't. Um, but I think just like the fear of people not liking my work is really holding me back as an artist. And I just think lately it's been a constant balancing act of me just like really trying to hammer into my head that experimentation is super healthy for me as an artist. It's very necessary for me to grow. It's okay if people don't like what I make, as long as I like it, it's what's important. Like for example, with this painting, as I'm looking at this, I'm like, I really like this. But I feel like on this day in particular, I kept thinking like, oh my God, if I post this, it's gonna, it's not gonna get that many likes. And it's kind of shameful to admit that. And I know it doesn't matter, but because I think my art practice and my income is just so tied to me being likable, um, it really does get in my head. So it's just like a constant mind battle of me trying to convince like my my inner self, I guess, that like, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, and I also like realize I do this thing where after I make an art piece and I like it, I'm like, okay, good, don't do it again. <laughs> And I need to constantly create work that I'm so, so proud of, or I, at least I feel pressure to do that. But I don't know, like there's going to be times where I make stuff that I'm not crazy about, but it's still important to keep creating because I am really my harshest critic. And I think after I let work sit for a while, I look at it and I'm like, oh, I really like it. Um, so yeah, I guess it's just all quite subjective. <laughs> Hello. 
Hello everybody, good morning. It's gonna be a very fun day today. I'm gonna go hang out with Radia. We're gonna meet in the city. Uh, we wanted to go shop around Sephora and then I'm gonna go to her apartment and we're gonna hang out. Um, but I'm picking out my outfit right now. I really, really wanna wear these Mary Janes. I think they're so cute. I got them recently. I thrifted them. They're um, old Doc Martens. They don't sell these anymore. I was really lucky to find them in pretty much brand new condition. I am kind of foreseeing a little bit of discomfort and blistering when I walk today. So we're definitely gonna walk a lot. We might go to like a fun fabric store that I never been to. So I wanna be like super mobile today. So I might not wear these shoes. Um, but I just wanna show you. I just think they're so cute. What? What is it? You like my shoes? Thank you. Let's go. Because I put this against the bed, I was like, we're gonna do mm -hmm. So on this last day of painting that will be in this vlog, I decided to break out the 16 by 20 canvases um, and just go for it. I think earlier on the video, I talked about how like, if I think about it too hard, I end up talking myself out of it. I'm like, oh, I don't wanna work that big. And who knows, I'll, I probably will hate what I make. But I think I was on such a roll with painting that I just like really didn't think about it. And I was like, you know what? I got an idea. I whipped out the big canvas and I just went for it. Um, and I'm really glad I did. Looking at the painting now, I think I'm in that phase where like after I finish a painting, I have this like I hate it phase and then I give it two weeks and I'm like, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> so I think I'm in like my learning to love it phase, but I'm really glad I made this. Um, I think I am improving a lot like in terms of just like texture and composition. Um, as I'm looking at this piece and just like seeing how I'm like carving out the shapes, I'm really loving all of the acrylic textures I've been able to achieve. And I think it just comes with like layering, layering paints on top of each other, seeing what happens. I got inspired to do this piece from this picture I saw on Pinterest of like a super graphic, 
I think it might have been like an advertisement or something, but it had so many sparkles and glitter. Um, and it was a very digital Photoshop-y piece. And I just thought like, oh, it'd be really cool to try to paint this and see, and I guess just see what happens. Um, and I'm really, really, really glad I did. Um, towards the bottom of this, I did like a green scallop border and then I added a grid pattern and a polka dotted pattern. And I just think those super graphic patterns look very, very cool painted. Um, and I'm just really glad I pushed myself out of my comfort zone to try painting larger, try painting something I typically would avoid. And um, I think I'm just getting really excited about the future and what kinds of artwork I can create. And I think because I've always thought of myself as a digital artist and like painting is just something that's not for me. The fact that like I'm pushing myself out of my comfort zone and doing it because I want to just makes me excited about the future and realizing like, wow, like there's so much I can create and so much I'm allowed to create. And yeah, it's cool. But I made some good progress on it. Since you last saw, I refined his face a bit more. I think his head was a bit too large and round. So I fixed it where I made the head a bit smaller. I brought the eyes a bit higher um, and I'm fleshing out the background right now. Something I'm a little bit iffy on is the bows, like a hot fluorescent pink, which I think looks really cool. It doesn't really pick up too well on camera. You can kind of see it, but it's kind of hard to see even with the naked eye, just because of how bright the pigment is. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might like make it, um, I might like dilute it with like a red to make it a little bit less like, like it, it like hurts my eyes even a little bit looking at it just cause it is so fluorescent. And then in terms of like these cute scalloped edges, um, in my reference photo, there are some like design elements here. So I was thinking of putting some stuff here. Um, but it is such a busy piece already that I don't know if adding something there would look funny. So yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit more thinking. I feel like every time I do a painting, there's always kind of an ugly phase and I get very discouraged by the ugly phase. So I'm like, oh my God, it's so ugly, but I'm glad that it's like looking cute again. to finish this today but here it is i'm really happy with it i think it's so cute i think it's so fun there's like little imperfections throughout the piece that i'm not necessarily going to fix um like there's some green here that sort of overlaps with the blue and there's some pencil lines peeking through and like here's not a perfect sharp line but I'm just gonna keep them because I think it's fun. Like I'm really embracing traditional art. So yeah, I'm very, very happy with this. I'm gonna photograph it and yeah, I hope Cosmo likes it. I think he will. I think it looks a lot like him. I love the patterns I did here um, and I think the texture is super fun and I feel like it was a really good piece to get me into the mood for painting again. It's also quite um, festive. Like I didn't, I didn't intend to make something so festive. I think that's gonna be it for this video, by the way. I hope you enjoyed watching um, a very art makey, painty related video. I hope it inspired you to get some traditional materials out if you're like me and you also really love working um, digitally. Shout out to my patrons who help me afford all of my art supplies and give me the time and space to experiment. Um, because if not for my patrons, I wouldn't really be able to experiment on so many things. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.